Welcome to the Natural Health Show with one of New England's leading holistic specialists, Mark Mincola. Call Mark at 617-822-1969 on 96.9 Boston Talks. Greetings and welcome home, Natural Health Nation. I am Mark Mincola. Of course, I'm here with you on the one and only Natural Health Show. Great to be with you. And, of course, we're here to, in part, introduce a topic or two and to discuss those throughout the next hour. But, as well, equally important is uh, really your phone call activity. So, we're here to answer your phone calls and, of course, any phone calls related to natural health issues. We're here to tackle them for you. 617-822-1969, Verizon Wireless Pound 96.9. So, we're here for you and we look forward to your questions. But before we do that, uh, as promised, there's a topic that I think is a really uh, remarkable topic. You know, uh, there are some 40,000 books Amazing. 40,000 books, uh, newly published books every year that come out into the marketplace. And uh, there are, of course, thousands of authors out there, and many of them extremely talented. Uh, But it is a very rare literary effort that truly changes our minds and changes our lives. There's a book that uh, I've recently come across, and noted Italian oncologist, Dr. Tullio Simoncini, love that name, Tullio Simoncini, uh, recently wrote a book entitled Cancer is a Fungus. It's that kind of book, folks. It is that kind of book. Um, I would encourage everybody out there who has access to, uh, to YouTube those words. YouTube those words, Cancer is a Fungus. Take a peek at his 10-minute YouTube presentation, a film presentation that he puts together uh, about the very topic that the book really writes about and and expands upon, that indeed cancer is a fungus. What Simoncini has done, he biopsied thousands of tumor sites and found that within the core of each of these tumors, of every tumor that he biopsied, the driving force were fungal colonies. Cancer is a fungus. Amazing, amazing discovery, amazing research. What they are doing in Italy now as we speak is they're treating cancer patients with between 5.8 and 8.4% bicarbonate of soda. Baking soda, folks. Baking soda. They're using porticaths, and they're directing the flow of bicarbonate or baking soda directly to tumor sites, and uh, they are making short work of tumors in Italy. They are right now. Remarkable, remarkable book. Remarkable information. So again, I urge everybody to check that information out. You might want to Google cancer is a fungus. You might want to also, as I suggest, YouTube that as well. But what is this really about? Cancer isn't just any fungus. He goes into great detail, of course, and talks about Candida albicans, which is a yeast-like fungus that inhabits the intestines, the uh, genital tract, the mouth, the throat. Babies often get thrush. Adults often get yeast infections. This is what we're talking about. Normally, uh, the candida albicans is a fungus that lives in balance in our bodies. Normally, there's no problem with it at all. But when we slip out of balance, that's when things really run into some serious problems. That's when we run into some serious problems. There's a, there's a cycling that takes place. Uh, the idea is this. Sugars, highly processed foods, stress, no stranger to our world, to our life, essentially produces more of an acidic bias to our chemistry, an acidosis, as opposed to alkalinity. The more acid we become, the more citric acid we produce in our bodies, or peruvic or lactic acid, these fatigue or stress acids build up in our system. They destroy the cell walls integrity of your healthy cells. That's when these candida yeasts, these fungal forms, can then inhabit the cell. They move into the cell because of the weakened cell wall from the acidity of the diet, the stress, etc. As they do, they then produce fermentation instead of respiration. In other words, folks, healthy cells have strong cell walls. They have an alkaline environment to preserve those healthy, strong cell walls. They maintain the cell wall integrity. As well, a healthy cell produces oxygen 
unhealthy mutated cells produce fermentation. So the acidity from, again, stress, sugars, highly processed foods, years and years of wear and tear, allow for the breakdown of our healthy cell walls, allowing for the invasion of these fungal forms. Once these funguses occupy our healthy cells, they then convert them into fermentation machines, weakening immunity, and uh, going back to the great work of Dr. Otto Warburg, the two-time Nobel Prize winner, the primary cause of cancer is the fermentation of sugar. We're going to talk about all these goodies. We're also going to take your calls, once again, any related issues uh, to natural health, vitamins, minerals, diet, etc. Hey, that's what we're here for. 617-822-1969, Verizon Wireless, pound 96.9. We'll be right back after these messages. Stay there. If you're talking about it, we're talking about it. Your talk, your talk, your talk, 96.9, Boston Talks. Hi, this is Catherine from Jaro Formulas. We can be found on the web at jaro.com, J-A-R-R-O-W.com. Jaro is the leading manufacturer of dietary supplements. We offer over 300 vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and probiotics. At Jaro, our mission is to provide superior nutrition and formulation. We team with industry leaders and top academic researchers to bring you quality you can depend on. This is exactly why we have partnered with Mark Mincola. Mark brings cutting edge science and education to his listeners and clients and we are proud to be part of his team we look forward to bringing you more information about specific products over the year with mark and exciting topics you can buy jaro formulas at a health food store near you find out more about jaro at jaro.com that's j-a-r-r-o-w.com hi this is laura from good health Now is the time we need to think about getting fit and preparing for spring. If you've overindulged or just want to tone up, there are safe, natural pills, powders, and juices to help boost your metabolism, curb appetite, and block fat absorption. Some of our favorites include Life Extension's Optimized Urbingia with green tea, seaweed, and white kidney bean. Oprah and Dr. Oz are even talking about this one. It's a breakthrough African mango formulation that has been proven effective for weight loss. Check out our acai diet and cleanse with exotic fruits like goat Goji Mangostina Noni, pure energizing products that cleanse and detoxify to help you lose those inches and pounds quickly. No artificial stimulants, just clean, potent ingredients. At Good Health in Quincy and Hanover, you'll find nutritional cleansing products for yeast, heavy metals, or parasites, liver, colon, and whole body cleansing kits. Safe, proven, organic solutions to help you feel more confident today. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you soon. Are you a woman experiencing hair loss? Did you know that you are not alone? Over 40 million women suffer from some form of hair loss in the United States. There is no reason to feel ashamed or alone. At PK Walsh Hair Solutions for Women, we can help. My name is Nikki Walsh, owner of PK Walsh, and I too suffer from hair loss. Together with our team of experts, we have helped thousands of women look and feel good again through state-of-the-art preventative care, laser light hair rejuvenation, strand-to-strand hair augmentation, hair extensions, hair integration, hair additions, and full wigs. If you are one of the millions of women suffering from hair loss, P.K. Walsh Hair Solutions for Women can help. Call P.K. Walsh of Needham at 781-444-4414. That number again is 781-444-4414. You can also visit us on the web at www. PKWalsh.com. Hi ladies, Marjorie Egan here with yeah, great so news. The Try Esotique Free promotion from Chamonix is on for Valentine's Day. That's right, try the all-natural Esotique Collagen Builder free for 30 days. You can finally make those fine lines and wrinkles on your face look less visible. You can look more refreshed than you ever thought possible, naturally and without makeup. Today you will also get the Vitamin C Deep Firming Serum and the Natural Microdermabrasion Treatment as free gifts just for trying Esotique. I've been recommending Esotique to you for months because it simply is the best skincare product I've ever tried. Now's your chance to experience it yourself. Give Esotique a try and see the amazing results. Try it free for 30 days. Just pay a small shipping charge. 800-264-5490. 800-264-5490. 
1-800-242-1490. Get two Shamini bestsellers also free for placing your order today. Free gifts while supplies last. 800-264-5490. 800-264-5490. Now back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. In Boston and New England, 617-822-1969. Verizon Wireless users, pound 96.9. Rachel from Amesbury, welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You are on the Natural Health Show. Hi. Um, I really enjoy your program. Oh, you're very kind. Thank you. But I've got to tell Grace it's not long enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going um, to see... I, I, saw them once already. I'm going tomorrow to see a doctor on weight loss, Mm -hmm. and I'd like to know from you what are the things I should be asking for and um, and having done. Well, first things first, you know, weight loss is really and truly no magic secret uh, formula here. What we're really looking for is an understanding that there are different types of foods that uh, really represent different metabolic influences. Mm -hmm. Obviously, for years, we were all cautious about counting calories and counting fat grams. And things have really, of course, evolved in recent years, a lot of the research about icosanoids and hormones, etc. And really, in point of fact, I think the most important part of weight loss is carbohydrate-oriented. And I think that the idea that not all carbohydrates are created equal is central to the theme of weight loss. And that when you think about high-starch carbohydrates, such as your grain products, your bread products, your cereals, obviously potatoes, sweet potatoes, um, you know, pastas, things of this nature. These are your high starch, the comfort foods as we like to call them. But these high starch carbohydrates, if there are two things that you really consider about those, number one, you limit their consumption to one serving per day, once. That's it. And number two, you make certain that they are in the form of high starch. I'm sorry, high fiber, high starch, rather. In other words, no white rice, only brown rice. Uh, No white pasta, only whole grain pastas. Uh, No white breads, only whole grain breads. So the idea that you're limiting the starches to one serving and qualifying them as high fiber, that is the central issue. Now, I always tell my folks when I work with them, my patients, I say, look, you really want to lose weight. Cut those starches down, as we just said, to one serving per day. Day, you know, either two slices of, of whole grain bread or a cup of brown rice or a cup of oatmeal or a cup of whole wheat pasta or whatever. But that's it, just one serving. Now, meanwhile, to make up the difference, I suggest they take unlimited vegetables, green vegetables, which are carbohydrates as well, but they're not high glycemic. They're not high sugar. They're not high starch. They're very low glycemic. So, you know, your green beans, your spinach, uh, your asparagus, your salads, your uh, your zucchinis, etc. These are your low starch carbohydrates. Have fun. Have as much as you like. Fruits, as long as they're low, low glycemic fruits, you know, apples, peaches, uh, pears, berries, you could pretty much have a good time with those as well. I say you just want to be really, really cautious about those starches. Limit them to one serving a day. The only other thing you'll have to really think about is cutting your fats. Two tablespoons of oil, two teaspoons of butter. That's it for the day. What type of blood work should I uh, look to have done? Well, um, we've talked on the program a lot of times about thyroid, making sure, obviously, that your thyroid's functioning properly. And if you look at the Broda Barnes uh, uh, criteria for that business, they're, they're a protocol for that. They recommend the Broda Barnes Research Foundation down in Connecticut. They How rec- do you spell that? B-R-O-D-A, Broda Barnes, B-A-R-N-E-S. They're in Trumbull, Connecticut, the Broda Barnes thyroid research foundation and uh they're really at the head of the game and these guys are they're they're amazing amazing researchers down there they've really done some great great work um a good book that actually uh comes from their effort is a book that's entitled solved solved s-o-l-v-e-d the riddle of illness and uh that was written by dr stephen langer who for many years was the director there and uh, that book really talks in great detail and at great length about the most important test. First, you want to do a basal metabolism test, underarm temperature. So you keep the thermometer by the bed stand before you go to bed at night, shake it down, wake up first thing in the morning. Your first 10 minutes of rising, that goes under your arm. Leave it there for 10 minutes. Record three days' worth of temperatures. That three-day average is the first test you want to perform. Your number should be between 97.8 and 98.2. If, they're lo- if your temps are lower than 97.8, you definitely got some low thyroid issues. Number two, you want to test T3, T4, TSH, Frank Thomas Isidore, FTI, 
FTI, and you want to also do an antithyroid antibody test. All right. So if you've done that full battery, you do your underarm temperature, you do those five, uh, te those five blood tests. You you're pretty much going to have a pretty clear idea about where you're at for, as far as your thyroid's ability to burn calories and to keep you trim. You, you said anti-thyroid antibody. That test? is that is correct. Okay. All right. Is there anything else? I think that's, uh, you know, obviously they may want to run like a SMAC 25 or something like that, just a general kind of overall checkup to make sure everything's running smoothly in there. But I think the most important metabolic issues would be right there. I think that uh, the thyroid is certainly something you want to be clear about before you go on any major weight loss program. Okay. And if they don't do any of this, um, should I ask to have it done? Well, yes, I would, and I and I would encourage you to uh, to take charge in this matter. You know, I always tell folks that when you're in a doctor's office or you're in a healthcare center, you are still a consumer. Do not forget that. If you go out to dinner and they bring you the wrong meal, you complain. You send the meal back, right? I first went the first visit. Um, they just said, um, "Oh, we're going by what your primary care did six months ago. You you did it. You had blood work done five six months ago. Mm -hmm. That you don't need it done again." Well, and I was in shock. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think if you have reason to believe, if you, for example, have any issues uh, along the lines of uh, a low basal, you start off with your basal temperature. Perhaps you do that at home uh, for yourself. Maybe do it tonight, tomorrow, next day. Uh, check those basal temperatures temperature is a little bit low, and you have a history of having a tough time getting that weight off, you might go in there with a little more assertiveness and say, look, my basal temperatures are real low. Uh, my history is such that I really have a difficult time losing weight. Um, I really am looking as a consumer here to really make a difference, uh, make some change, look into this, and really come up with some clear-cut answers and some good strategies. That's all you need work I had done was not pertaining for weight loss. And so that was just the regular battery test right. that you have done once a year, you know. Right, but what I'm saying is, is if you have a history of having a difficult time getting weight off, even when you lower your calorie counts, etc., and you exercise, uh, you know, and if your temperature's low and your energy's low and and uh, your sleep habits are off, etc., then obviously you've got some you got some good argument there to really run some thyroid tests and uh, to find out exactly what you what you can expect from a good weight loss program. If your body is, uh, you know, put on a good dietary program, will it perform? You need to know. Well, thank you so very much. Well, I really appreciate it, and I love your program. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Appreciate you, and uh, we appreciate you as well. All right. You know, let's get back on point here. We were talking at the outset. Of course, I'll give you the numbers here one more time. Any questions regarding your health issues? 617-822-1969. Verizon Wireless, pound 96.9. Hey, and there's no charge for the answer here, folks. I'm consulting for free. So <laughs> give us a call. We, we've got answers for your questions. All right, back on point here. We've been talking a little bit about the topic of of the day, which again is a remarkable, remarkable topic. The book that I pointed out by Italian oncologist, Dr. Tullio Simoncini, his book entitled Cancer is a Fungus. Uh, again, breakthrough information. They're really running with it over in Italy right now. They're treating uh, many cancer patients over there with bicarbonate of soda. And why? Uh, because he goes on and says that bicarbonate of soda, unlike many other uh, different agents that uh, are being used against cancer is a remarkably effective one in that it uh, it disables the ability of fungus to adapt. So as he points out, fungus like bacteria, they have immune systems, folks. And, uh, you know, you hit them with a medicine and they adapt, just like you and I do. They have immune systems. We tend not to think of bugs like bacteria, fungi, bac and uh, viruses as having their own immune systems, but indeed they do have immune systems. And what they found in Italy is that bicarbonate of soda strips the immunity of the funguses that actually cause these tumor sites to expand. So uh, the proliferation of tumors, obviously uh, a very, very, uh, a very serious ongoing issue in many a life. There's a, nearly three quarters of a million people in this country every year that die from cancer, 650,000 people or so. Remarkable numbers. So you were talking about uh, very serious, serious uh, issues here that uh, have been very thoroughly researched by this particular oncologist. And uh, 
he's uh, got a lot to say in this book. It's, it's really a great, great read. Again, Cancer is a Fungus is the title of the book. And uh, we're going to uh, come back and talk a little bit more about that and certainly take your questions. we got some calls coming in. Just hang on patiently. We'll take your calls again. For those folks interested in questions being answered here on the Natural Health Show, 617-822-1969. Verizon Wireless users, pound 96.9. We'll be back right after these messages. Jay Severin, the loyal opposition. I'm a radical libertarian, but I believe there needs to be the government enough. You know, I want to know that when I go down to the market and buy the chicken, that it's not poison chicken. Jay Severin, afternoons 2 to 6, 96.9, Boston Talks. You know, when most people hear the word allergies, they think only of hay fever-like symptoms associated with airborne pollen, dust, and mold. But did you know that many experts estimate that between 60 and 80 million of us suffer from immune related food allergies without even knowing it? Furthermore, food allergies often contribute to serious health problems such as autism, irritable bowel syndrome, ADD, headaches, and chronic ear infections. Now, there's an effective way to identify and eliminate both your food allergies and the troubling symptoms that they aggravate. Halitest Medical Labs at foodallergy.com offers a full complement of clinical, environmental, and food allergy testing to help you get to the root of your allergy problems. Halitest also provides you with a comprehensive rotation diet, lifestyle booklet, and a wallet card to help you live food allergy free and stress free. Do you wonder if you or your loved ones are among the 60 to 80 million food allergy sufferers in America? If so, log on to Alatest Medical Labs, foodallergy.com. Talk to your doctor about ordering a food allergy test from Alatest Medical Labs today. Foodallergy.com. Make sure the food you're eating isn't what's depleting you. Do you own or manage a natural health, fitness, day spa, or go green business? Perhaps you have a unique restaurant that offers healthy entrees, heart-smart seafood, vegetarian, or lighter fare options. I invite you to share your vision and deliver your message directly to health-conscious New Englanders by becoming a sponsor of The Natural Health Show, New England's number one health radio show. The Natural Health Show is now welcoming potential sponsors to join our natural health family by offering a number of creative and flexible sponsorship packages. For information on how to become a sponsor of The Natural Health Show, simply call Candida at 781-834-2728. That's 781-834-2728. Be a part of New England's natural health revolution. Join our Natural Health Show family today. Do you suffer from allergies or know someone who does? Would you like to finally enjoy life allergy symptom free? Mass Allergy Relief Center in Lexington has the solution. Using holistic technology that corrects the negative reactions caused by allergies and sensitivities. At Mass Allergy Relief Center, their therapies are non-invasive. No needles, no drugs, no supplements. Just relief. Finally, with the help of Mass Allergy Relief Center, you can relieve chronic sinusitis, hay fever, food sensitivities, digestive issues, and other chronic complaints. Call Mass Allergy Relief Center today at 781-274-7700. That's 781-274-7700. Visit them online at massallergyrelief.com. Call Mass Allergy Relief Center today and get allergy symptom relief right away. Massallergyrelief.com. Have you looked at your bill from the phone company? If you have a small business like me, you might want to take a minute and read it over. After seeing what I was shelling out, I knew I needed to find something better. And I did. I switched to Comcast Business Class. I just wish I had done it a whole lot sooner. I guess I thought the phone company would be the right place for phone and internet service. I guess wrong. What my business has now makes so much more sense for what we need. Plus, switching over was a snap. I was even able to compare what I was paying the phone company to Comcast Business Class, so it was clear that I was making the right choice. With Comcast Business Class, we're getting better phone, fast internet, and tools from Microsoft, all at a price I can feel good about. So really, have you looked at your bill yet? Call 1-800-391-3000 today to switch to Comcast Business Class. Go to business.comcast.com slash save and find out how much your business could save. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. Call for details. Now back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. In Boston and New England, 617-822-1969, Verizon Wireless, pound 96.9. Let's go to Julie in Swampscott. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You are on the Natural Health Show. Hi, thank you for taking my call. I, I really enjoy your show. Thank you. Um, 
I have. Uh, I was informed recently. I went online that there was a recent ad. I won't name the product. It's a dental adhesive that's mm-hmm. very popular. That um, I guess has been had a synchronous, and uh, there's been several documented um, class action suits that have you know people have suffered from zinc poisoning, neuropathies, etc. I do have two elderly relatives who have used this particular product for several years, and they both have neuropathy of the hand, and uh, one has some more serious issues. So I guess my first question is, could their primary care doctor test the zinc poisoning or zinc overload, and is it reversible at any point, besides not using the product anymore? Well, it is a great question. There are about 35 million people that are using dental adhesives right now in this country, and you're right. Uh, there is a recent recall. I'll tell you, it was GlaxoSmithKline that uh, recently discontinued and recalled three different uh, polygrip product products that they had uh, on the marketplace because of zinc concentrates, as you point out, which were associated with uh, some neurological symptomatologies that uh, a lot of folks were suffering from. So absolutely, you're, right, you're absolutely right about everything you said in terms of what to do about it. A couple things. I mean, I think first things first, um, you can actually have a TMA, which is a trace mineral analysis test. TMAs are you actually done very simply by by taking a couple teaspoons of hair or fingernails and toenails. Um, it was first used back in the 50s uh, in, in crime work that was done, and they are using them in prisons and whatnot. But um, it, it's become a real popular industry now as part of the healthcare industry. And again, you can have your fingernails or your hair assessed. There are seven layers of protein in your tissues. The third layer is called carotene. It's a cortex layer, and it's about 58% carbon, so it's like a carbon repository. It gives you a complete breakdown on all your minerals, including your toxic minerals. It shows you toxic levels of zinc, as we're just talking about here, but lead, mercury, aluminum, beryllium, uh, etc., etc. So uh, it's really a great, great way to do that very thing. Um, We do it, I know, in our offices. It's uh, not a real backbreaker. It's about a $90 test. It takes about two weeks to get it back from Texas. Uh, But there are a lot of places out there that that do the very same thing. But you want to look for a a trace mineral analysis. Trace mineral analysis. Again, we we do it in our offices, but there's lots of folks doing it. You can just look it up for yourself on the internet. But it's a great, great way to determine exactly what the density is, what the uh, accumulation that these poor folks may have uh, may have taken in. And uh, in terms of what to do about it, I would refer you to something called the mineral wheel. The mineral wheel is basically a biochemical wheel that shows the all the minerals on the wheel or on the outer perf of the wheel. And there are agents that work against a mineral. For example, there are antagonists for zinc, like copper is an antagonist for zinc. Um, you know, there are minerals and there are vitamins that work to pull that out. That's one of the things that we do in our work every day. So we do these trace mineral tests, uh, nutritionally speaking, to take a look at where there may be saturations. And then we basically show folks that mineral wheel and say, therefore, we're going to put you on like a two milligrams of copper a day or two milligrams of copper twice or three times a week for the next six months and recheck you in six months to try to pull that, uh, that uh, zinc level down. That's how it's done. Now, is this something that would be checked in a regular blood test when you have your annual physical? No, no. Here's here's the thing. You want to distinguish, it's really important to distinguish between blood versus tissue. When we're taking protein, again, as I said a little while ago, from your hair, from your nails, we're looking at tissue. Think of the riverbed versus the river. There could be something floating through the river, but there could be big sedimentations in the riverbed. There's a difference in the concentrations that are built up in the tissue. So what you're really concerned about isn't just what's in the blood, but what's been building, building, building in those tissues. The sedimentation is what we're testing with this. So there is a possible, by by using it, uh, a different mineral antagonist to maybe lower the level? No, not- no question about it. E- easy to do. Easy to do. It's done. We do that every day. How can I contact your office to arrange the I'll test? tell you what. I'll give you, the, I'll give you our website. It's uh, www.maxhealing.com. Max Healing's one word, dot com. MaxHealing.com, and, and you can get our office numbers and give us a call. And you can actually address a call to me specifically, and I'll call you back this week and give you all the all the basic information on it and uh, discuss a little more with you. That would be great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks for calling. All right, let's see here. We've got uh, Jerry from Methuen. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You are on the Natural Health Show. Hi, thank you for taking my call. A very interesting show. Thank you. I have a 
a re- well, not a recent problem, but about quite a few. It's going back quite a few months, and uh, I do have the allergies, the mites and mold, but they're not highly allergic. Um, getting mucus in my lungs, mm-hmm. and I went to a pulmonary doctor. The X-ray showed that my lungs were clear. I did have exposure exposure to asbestos and smoke, you know, over yep. thirty years ago, but the lungs are supposed to be clear. I had a breathing test, and I. I you know, expel the proper amount of air, you know? Yep. I, I don't wheeze, but the mucus keeps forming, and uh, you may be able to hear them hoarse. And, um, you know, of course, it's exhausting, coughing all day. Is And I've had Mucinex. I've had use Advair, uh, Albuterol. I still keep getting mucus. So I'm going, I'm planning on going back to get a CAT scan. But is, would you have any idea what might be causing the problem of the mucus forming? Well, you know, and that is the key, really, is, you know, to just pop a pill to make it stop happening isn't really the way you want to go. You're going to have to get to the bite, a little detective work here. Got to get to the root of the problem. What is agitating your poor immune system that is creating this effect is the key. You mentioned that you have allergies, for example. And, you know, allergies are also developmental. They can become more compounded as we age. Uh, so sometimes... Sometimes uh, folks are, are biased into thinking that, you know, when kids have allergies, they grow out of the. Yes, sometimes you do uh, outgrow those allergies, and sometimes you'll also actually uh, increase the amount of allergenic response as you age if the immune system is compromised. So um, one thing I would ask you to do is to take a peek at uh, one of our sponsors' websites. It's www.foodallergy.com, and that is the Alates Medical Laboratories. They're in Rockland, Mass. And maybe you can get your doctor to send you over there for a uh, an IgG. And IgG is a uh, 96, basically they're 96 common foods that you're tested for. And you're measured uh, really very, very comprehensively for those food sensitivity potentials. Any of those foods that are over 200 in your scoring, anything that's over 200 is an inflammatory problem that, that's capable of causing uh, the, the problems such as you're discussing here this evening. But the numbers go from like 200 to like 990. So if you had a food that was only a 205 or a 210, I wouldn't be as worried about that, obviously. But if you got a bunch of foods that are up in the 7, 8, and 900 range, I would say it would be a really wise idea to identify those problems and then to lay off of those foods for a good three weeks or so and see if you don't, if you don't improve. I'd be willing to bet that you probably got a lot better. But again, you know, if you've got allergies that are really uh, putting a burden on your immunity, you got to identify with those things. And obviously they can run environmental allergenesis uh, issues as well. So if you have mold allergies or environmental allergies, you know, your doctor may have a familiarity with that and, uh, you know, you can maybe uh, consider having those run as well. Uh, But, you know, you're usually talking about a bacteria, a virus, an allergy, you know, it's usually something along those lines. You want to rule out the allergy first, in my opinion, though. If it's something that's long-term and it's long-standing, it's doubtful that it's a virus or bacteria. It's doubtful. It's more likely that it's an allergen. So I, I get it checked out. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure, and good luck to you. And let's see, we've got, uh, let's give you the number again here before we take Paul. It's 617-822-1969. Fries and Wireless, pound 96.9. Paul from Winthrop. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You are on the Natural Health Show. Yeah, thanks for taking my call. My pleasure. Um, yeah, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease and my terminal ilium mm-hmm. like a few years ago. Right. And uh, um, now I, I read so much different stuff on the Internet. And, you know, on diet and everything, and I was just, like, wondering what you recommend, and, and I can't really gain weight. You know, well, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to put on 10 or 15 you, pounds if I could. Well, if we could do the radio ditto, that this would be the spot for it, because, again, I think the real key here, as you just heard me discuss with the gentleman before you, that, uh, you know, one-size-fits-all dieting does not work. Okay, you know you've really got to pinpoint the specifics. You know, as, as I point out, this uh, this IgG food allergy test that they run over at the uh, at the Alatest Medical Laboratories is remarkable, remarkable because it doesn't just tell you, hey, you might be allergic to X, Y, or Z food that previously you knew nothing about. Because again, IgG allergies, you may not know about them. They're up to three, four, five day delays. It's hard to really pinpoint them and tell exactly what they are. People are used to associating direct response allergenesis. In other words, you eat something, you get a headache, boy, I'm going to stay away from that. Those are immune globulin E allergies. Forget it. We're not talking about those. We're talking about IgGs, delayed reaction, hard to pinpoint, 
Only, only they can do it. So, you know, you, you basically need to find out what it is that's really agitating your intestines. And obviously, there are foods, or probably more than one food, probably several foods, that are really inflammatory for you that you need to identify first and then avoid. And they give you rotation diets or they give you a booklet and they help you manage it. So it's a great, great program, but I, I couldn't, uh, couldn't uh, tell you any more enthusiastically uh, that, uh, that that is, in my opinion, the way to go. But uh, I believe that is the case. Get your doctor to send you a requisition over there. Check it out on the Internet. It's uh, foodallergy.com. All right, great, thank you. My pleasure, my pleasure. And, uh, you know, back to uh, one of the things we've been talking about here with you this evening, the idea of this candida bacteria, not spelled the same way as my lovely co-host, by the way, I might point that out. C-A-N-D-I-D-A is what we're talking about, or candida albicans, which, again, as we said earlier in the show, is a yeast-like fungus that inhabits the intestines, the genital tract, the mouth, the throat, and uh, it is normally a a uh, sort of meaningless little fungus when you're healthy, when you're balanced, when your body's in good shape, when your pH is balanced, you're not too acidic, everything's going pretty good in your life, uh, that's not going to bother you. But when you build up the very uh, acidic diet, you know, too much sugar, too much processed food, too much stress in your life, too much alcohol, t- tobacco, late nighting, etc., etc., poor sleep, uh, these are the things that contribute to more of a chronic acidosis. The more acidic your body becomes, the more the cell wall integrity breaks down. The acidity, again, degenerates that cell wall integrity, allowing these indigenous little funguses to get inside those cells and to literally parasitize those cells. And as they do so, they convert your healthy cells from being aerobic oxygen-producing cells to anaerobic fermentation-producing cells. Once that system really takes over and uh, spreads big trouble, and again, as Dr. Tullio Simoncini points out, that is where we start uh, running into risks for tumorous developments and uh, for neoplasty. So the key really here is that... um, you know, there are foods that you want to avoid, and obviously uh, you want to avoid a lot of the very fermented sweet stuff. As we said, pro- highly processed sugars really should be avoided. There are sugars that are safe. There are a number of different safe sugars that uh, are very definitely usable in these programs without causing this event and without really jeopardizing your immune system. We come back from this break, we're going to give you the list of healthy sugars. Stay tuned. Want it online and on demand. 96.9 BostonTalks.com. Are you a woman experiencing hair loss? Did you know that you are not alone? Over 40 million women suffer from some form of hair loss in the United States. There is no reason to feel ashamed or alone. At PK Walsh Hair Solutions for Women, we can help. My name is Nikki Walsh, owner of PK Walsh, and I too suffer from hair loss. Together with our team of experts, we have helped thousands of women look and feel good again through state-of-the-art preventative care, laser light hair rejuvenation, strand-to-strand hair augmentation, hair extensions, hair integration, hair additions, and full wigs. If you are one of the millions of women suffering from hair loss, P.K. Walsh Hair Solutions for Women can help. Call P.K. Walsh of Needham at 781-444-4414. That number again is 781-444-4414. You can also visit us on the web at www. PKWalsh.com. For more than 18 years, Personal Best Karate has been teaching character education, physical fitness, and self-defense skills to people of all ages. Led by three-time world karate champion Chris Rappold and his highly trained and motivated staff, you are sure to find a one-of-a-kind program that is just right for you and your family. Learn firsthand how Personal Best Karate can transform your life by giving their new amazing introductory offer a try. Now for only $19.95, you'll receive two private lessons and an official Personal Best Karate uniform. You'll immediately see just how easy it is to improve your self-confidence, your mental focus, and your health and fitness. The helpful staff at Personal Best Karate will arrange a convenient schedule and design an affordable program to help you achieve your personal best goals. That's Personal Best Karate with locations in Norton, Foxborough, Southeastern, and Norwood. Check them out on the World Wide Web at personalbestkarate.com or call their home office at 508-285-5425. Mention that you heard this ad on The Natural Health Show and receive a free special gift while supplies last. Manifest your personal best at Personal Best Karate. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. 
617-822-1969. Verizon Wireless Pound 96.9. Obviously, uh, we've got you waiting with bated breath. Healthy sugars. What are they, Mark? Tell me what those healthy sugars are. Well, first thing, let's let's talk about what constitutes a, quote, healthy sugar. Uh, especially in the case of the Candida albicans that we've talked about in the uh, remarkable story that uh, the Dr. Tullio Simoncini brings forth in his remarkable book entitled Cancer is a Fungus. Amazing book. Amazing, uh, again, amazing YouTube information, too. If you check out that YouTube uh, display, wow, truly an incredible thing. Anyway, um, yeah, we, we think in terms of sugars that have a low glycemic index that have... Um, you know, that have properties that don't trigger a whole lot of insulin and that have properties that uh, do not tend to foster the growth of the candida albicans. So things like rice syrup, rice syrup, which is kind of like a honey, if you will, made from uh, brown rice. Also, uh, there's actually something called uh, Lakanto, L-A-K-A-N-T-O, Lakanto. And there's zero calories and uh, it's uh, basically... Lohan fruit extract, Lohan guo fruit extract with uh, erythritol, which is actually extracted from pears. So uh, that's Locanto, L-O-K-A-N-T-O. Also, coconut palm sugar, relatively safe to use, coconut palm sugar. And lacuma powder, L-U-C-U-M-A, lacuma powder. Um, and lacuma powder basically is from the uh, Peruvian fruit powder. It's from a... Uh, I can't think of the name of the, the fruit, but it is a Peruvian fruit. And uh, it, the, the fruit that uh, the lacuma powder is is often referred to as the gold of the Incas. But anyway, it's a, um, you'll find them in the health food store. So again, rice syrup, lacuma powder, coconut palm sugar, and lacanto, L-A-K-A-N-T-O. Those are the sugars that I recommend. And again, don't overdo any of them obviously. Uh, and when we're talking about the candida diet, you know, if uh, we really focus on, on the main topic of the evening here, we should also bring up the point that things that are highly fermented, alcoholic beverages, uh, specifically to the fermented beverages, beer, wine, champagne, uh, less the case with things like scotch, less the case with things like, uh, not much less, but a little less, uh, you know, not nearly as uh, serious in terms of fermentation potential. But all alcohol basically is is a contributor to, uh, you know, the sugar fermentation process in the body. But uh, you want to be careful about those. You want to be careful about yeasted breads. You go to the health food store, certainly there are breads without yeast. I know Good Health Natural Foods has D-Lands. I think that's probably one of the better uh, yeast-free Breads, D-E-L-A-N-D-S. They get it from Delands, Florida, and it's shipped up uh, pretty regularly. But they make an oat bread, a Delands oat bread, that is a very exceptional, exceptional yeast-free bread. And uh, there are other breads as well, like the Neshoba makes a sourdough, which um, is a very low yeast. I think it may be even non-yeast. I'm not sure about that one. But... Um, Food for Life is another company that comes to mind. Food for Life actually makes a yeast-free rice bread. So there's a variety of different companies out there that uh, if you want to go through a short-term period where uh, you want to boost your immune system in the uh, in the backdrop of candida albicans, uh, you can do that very thing. Also, you want to be careful about... Uh, highly marinated and fermented foods as well. So marinades uh, and vinegars. I always tell people that uh, during the period that you're trying to cut back on this yeast proliferation in your body, which is polysystemic, causing all kinds of problems. I mean, it's incredible. We, we've certainly talked about the cancer connection to this fungus called Candida albicans, but many different issues as well have, uh, have come about. Uh, one of the things I, I wrote about in one of my first books here is actually that... Um, uh, according back in 1984, according to an old study back in 1984 from the New England Journal of, of Medicine by Nathan Klumchek, eight of 15, uh, eight of every 15 uh, African AIDS patients in a group that was studied with uh, no blood transfusions and intravenous drug use or any other underlying immunosuppressive diseases, were all diagnosed as having chronic candida albicans. So again, you know. 
correlatives here, you know, that uh, when these yeasts take over, the immune system suffers. And whether we're talking about increasing risk factors for AIDS or increasing risk factors for uh, cancer, as we just pointed out, the key here is, the common denominator here is, is that this little bug that is indigenous in our body and that's waiting to wreak havoc will indeed do so at uh, your expense. So uh, the, the human immune system is really uh, not meant to deal with these really high populations of candida albicans. Again, a ravaging fungal form that uh, causes all kinds of problems. And again, you know, one of the reasons that uh, Dr. Simoncini uh, reiterates that the uh, bicarbonate of soda therapy is so successful. There are tumors that uh, he claims that they are shrinking in three to four days in Italy with the uh, bicarbonate of soda over there. So, you know, they're, they're really trying to make the point that uh, what you eat ultimately has a great influence over your chemistry, your immunity, and the probabilities for some of these disease factors such as cancer. So uh, these neoplasties, apparently, according to Dr. Simoncini in his book, Cancer is a Fungus, really love it when there's a lot of fermentation, a lot of sugar in the body. So there you have it. Uh, and dietarily, back to kind of finish that point up, again, yeast-free breads, lemon and oil on salads, uh, not a lot of alcoholic usage and uh, processed sugar usage. So what do you, you know, you basically eat egg whites, you basically eat, uh, you know, plenty of vegetables. Of course, there's no limit to the amount of vegetables you can consume. Um, lean proteins, chicken, turkey, fish, beans, tofu. Uh, so, I mean, for the most part, those are the, those are the, the, uh, the stalwarts in, in, a, in an anti-candida type diet. So you want to focus on those kind of things in that diet and just cool it with some of that yeast, vinegar, fermentation, alcohol, sugar, etc. And you can make a big difference. And for folks who are, uh, you know, really interested in looking more about how, looking more into how that can influence their immune system in the face of cancer, uh, you can certainly do that by reading his book. Again, Cancer is a Fungus. And uh, you can also, another book that I'd recommend is a great book that uh, was goes way back in the mid-80s, uh, and that is Dr. William Crook, C-R-O-O-K, and that is the Yeast Connection book, which is a very, very good book. We better get back to your calls here. We've got Charlie on the line from Natick. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You are on the Natural Health Show. Char Charlie, yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Well, I'm calling about, you know, if an ophthalmologist takes the pressure in your eyes sure. and it's high, is there anything you recommend for bringing that down? Yeah, there's um, there's something called, there's an amino acid, it's a protein constituent called carnosine, C-A-R-N-O-S-I-N-E, carnosine. Okay. And there's a company called CAN-C, C-A-N dash S-E-E. -E. Right. And Good Health Natural Foods does have that in stock. The can C drops are liquid carnitine, or carnosine rather. And I'd recommend that you uh, you pick up on those can C carnosine drops ASAP. Okay, and the instructions would be on the bottle. Yeah, they are indeed. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but would, would you see results in like a month or two or three? Or? Well, you know, I think that if you're going to have results with carnosine, you're going to see them within a month, and uh, it's certainly well worth the try. Okay, and that's Natural Health that has it. Good Health Natural Foods, yeah. Good Health Natural Foods. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you for calling. All right, uh, let's see. We do want to give you the number here again, 617-822-1969, Verizon Wireless, pound 96.9. Christina from Arlington, welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You are on the Natural Health Show. Oh, hi. Thanks for taking my call. I wanted to get back to the healthy sugars mm -hmm. list that you just gave us. Right. And I wanted to ask you about agave and stevia, why those weren't on your list. Actually, stevia is, is pretty good. Yeah, that's one that I just uh, didn't include, but I could easily. That certainly works. Uh, however, the agave doesn't. The agave's first studies and the first reports that came out on agave were uh, clearly favorable and everybody's pretty enthusiastic about agave so uh, for a good year and a half to two years everybody was led to believe that it was a low glycemic sugar and then a battery of new research just came out uh, this past actually spring of 2010 that uh, questioned it and really uh, and, and seemed to suggest that indeed it was not what, it, what we had thought that it was so I think at this point now the latest evidence is that agave nectar is actually a high glycemic sugar, not a low glycemic sugar. So I'll uh, give you a uh, 500 batting average for that. <laughs> so you're, okay. you're, you're absolutely rude about the stevia. Stevia is definitely a safe way to go. So rice syrup was the first one I mentioned. Lacuma powder is the second one that I mentioned. Coconut palm sugar is the third. Lakanto, L-A-K-A-N-T-O. And then you were absolutely right, stevia. 
Great. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for calling. All right, let's see. We've got uh, James from Lowell. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Health Show. Hey, how you doing? Thank Terrific. you. I, I was just curious about the honey uh, being on the sugar list as well uh, as for a sweetener. Yeah, you know, um, there are two things I'd say about honey. First of all, some honeys are heated because they extract them through the heating process. And uh, those that are expeller-pressed and spun and all that stuff that are not heated, there used to be a number of different companies out in Arizona that used to ship stuff from around the country that was not heated. So the real key is the enzymes in the honey. If you, did, if you don't heat those enzymes, you don't destroy them. And uh, the enzymes are all important for break, helping you to break down that sugar and helping you with the sugar liability. But for the most part, honey has a yield of glucose that's pretty high. So honey, unfortunately, is not a low glycemic sugar. If you're going to use honey, you want to make sure it's heated honey, and then you don't want to heat it up in the process. In other words, you buy unheated honey, that's great, because unheated means that the enzymes are alive. Then if you're going to bake with it or put it in a hot cup of tea, you're kind of like, uh, you know, defeating the purpose, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right? All right, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for calling. All right, let's see here. We've got uh, Greg from Worcester. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talk. You're in the Natural Health Show. Hi, sir. How are you doing? Great. How are you doing? Pretty good. Hey, I got a question for sure, you. Yeah. Um, had proximal atrial fibrillation once. Yeah. Um, probably not a you know recurring thing, but I'm um, trying to get into weightlifting and eating right and being healthy and everything. I'm wondering what kind of supplements can you take um, besides you know I've been doing whey protein um, and I've, I've been doing some research online and reading that creatine is supposed to be really beneficial and everything. But I'm just wondering, is there anything you can do from a natural perspective? Yeah, well, I mean, the things you mentioned, I think the whey protein, the creatine are good, certainly good directions to go in for a young guy who wants to be a bodybuilder, wants to work out. Sure, those are good suggestions. The other one that I think is really good for the heart and for the brain in getting oxygen uh, availability up at a cellular level for the heart and the brain during these intensive workouts, you know, we'll take a tip from uh, the great uh, metabolic cardiologist, Dr. Stephen T. Sinatra. Ribose, R-I-B-O-S-E. You, you really got to get get a hold of some ribose and do a little bit of ribose research. It's a pentose. Now, that, let me ask you this. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, the, I'm sorry to cut you off. The, uh, the ribose, I, I do believe that that's actually contained within the whey protein that I'm taking. Oh, I see. Um, okay, yep. I, I think it's just fortified with that. Is there a certain amount you're supposed to be getting per day? Well, or? yeah, you, I think you probably want to be thinking about 5 grams maximum per day. I mean, there's some bodybuilders go up to 10 and even 20 grams a day, which is kind of overkill. But I think, you know, if you're looking at 5 grams or 5,000 milligrams of a, a day of ribose, that's probably a pretty good number to look at. Okay. Um, and how about flaxseed oil as well? I read a lot about that. Yeah, great. Flaxseed oil does the job. Fish oil and flaxseed oil both do the same thing. I think if, uh, for men, I usually prefer the fish oil. For women, I prefer the flax oil. But, uh, you know, I think that there's more of a uh, receptive uh, biochemical connection for women who use flax and for men who use fish. But uh, absolutely great idea. Anti-inflammatory, sure. The other, oh, wow. the other thing you might want to think of, you know, you talked about an arrhythmia a little while ago, which is obviously probably not, un- not, not anything that you're dealing with on an ongoing basis. But you might want to consider taking some magnesium because as you do these really intensive workouts and uh, when you think about symptoms of arrhythmic uh, problems, etc., you always want to automatically kind of make that connection with magnesium. And, uh, you know, the simplest way to do it is get yourself some natural calm, maybe a teaspoon before bed at night, and that will just probably uh, help you uh, just get a little bit of magnesium in your system and uh, help you get a good quality sleep, help support the heart rate, etc., Right, and now also from from an uh, you know an arrhythmia perspective. Now, is there anything else that would help with that? Well, um, I have, like I said, I haven't had it recurring or anything, yeah, but um, yeah, you know, the, kind of PVCs on and off, nothing yep, too big. Yep. Well, the two things that I think are most important would be the magnesium and would be the hawthorn. You want to get some hawthorn berry tincture, some hawthorn berry caps. If you want to do the capsules, it would be like 500 milligrams of hawthorn berry twice a day. If you want to do the tincture, you could do hawthorn berry tincture, do like 20, 25 drops, 3 ounces of water, 2, 3 times a day. Um, and I actually, to be honest with you, if you want the very finest magnesium, for uh, to support the cardiovascular system and heart rate, you want to be looking at an orotate, magnesium orotate. Cal makes a magnesium orotate. Uh, there's a number of companies on the internet that make a magnesium orotate. O r o t a t e. Uh, that's definitely the magnesium you want. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks very much for your right. time. Good luck with your program. My pleasure. And uh, looks like we got one more call. Let's take. Uh, I'm not sure I can pronounce this name. Trivikama. Trivikama from Boston. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talk. You're in the Natural Health Show. Hey, how are you today? Terrific. How are you? I'm okay. Um, I'm just wondering if you can just briefly give us some foods to avoid 
and foods to eat that can boost um, our boost our immune system against colds and flus and sore throats and all mm-hmm. these things. Absolutely do. We'll do that. We'll probably have to cut your call, uh, and I will answer that question because we're right up against it here time-wise. But I think the most important things to do dietarily are obviously to avoid a lot of, like I said earlier, a lot of processed sugar, a lot of fermented foods. Uh, Go with the lean proteins, vegetables, fruits, whole grain products. Keep it simple. Olive oil, two tablespoons a day. Um, And obviously you want to steer away from a lot of processed uh, milk products and things like that. Um, you know, you can certainly use coconut milks, uh, soy milks, etc. Um, in terms of if there was one supplement I'd recommend to support immunity, I think I'd probably choose something like um, uh, monolaurin, I guess. M-O-N-O-L-A-U-R-I-N. Lauric acid from coconut oil, antifungal, antiviral, antibacterial, antiprotozole. Uh, studied at the Center for Disease Control back in the 80s. Great product, easy to get, good health, natural foods has one it. One minute. And we got a minute to go, so holy Toledo. That's, that's, the, end of, that's the name of that tune, I guess, huh? All right, great to be uh, with you here. Of course, I'll be on Fox uh, this coming Thursday at 8.50. The time change. Note that time change, folks. I'll be doing a segment on Fox 25 morning show, 8.50 Thursday morning, and uh, we look forward to uh, to uh, presenting those, those presentations. Also, we look forward to being here with you every Sunday night, 5 o'clock, Natural Health Show, 96.9 FM, Boston Talks, and uh, make sure you stay tuned for uh, the, the more, the more the more remarkable uh, program here, one of the more remarkable programs here that you'll ever see. And uh, Woody, of course, does a great, great job with the addiction program here. And uh, right turn. call Right Turn Radio. So stay tuned to Right Turn Radio. Check out our website, www.maxhealing.com. And thanks to John Parker for steering the ship. And uh, we'll be with you next Sunday at 5 o'clock. Until that time, be wise, be aware, be well. Make it a healthy week. Good night.